Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore this courtyard of the castle now. I'm not sure if this is what was shooting at me when I was at the front gate or if this is just another yard. But anyway, let's try to pull them one by one or something. Anyone else want to come at me? Okay, one does. Kinda. Ah! Don't toot that horn. I can't reach the casters from here. I mean, the bowmen from here. Let's just run forwards. Run to the side. Get away from the explosive barrels. <laughs> Hide behind a tree. Ah! See if they'll follow me in here. away from these explosive barrels. I see a big un over there. Oh, I couldn't backstab him. Thank you for the appraisal. Wooden Great Shield. Requires 14 strength. Can't quite wield it. Doesn't even protect 100% against physical damage. The uh, Great Shields boast high damage negation and guard capacity, making enemy attacks easy to repel. It does have significantly better guard boost, despite the physical ne damage negation. So it does have that going for it. Pike. Requires 20 strength. It's a spear. I didn't think spears needed that much strength. A long spear featuring an especially lengthy handle. Specialized for use from long distances, it boasts the longest reach of any melee weapon. Incredibly useful even against foes on horseback, but hard to wield in cramped spaces. Okay, well if it's the longest melee weapon, then that makes sense that it requires so much strength. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, that is long. There's still some here, some enemies.
Make sure I got all the bodies. There are a lot of them. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's see if this is the front gate. I don't think it actually is. So let's just magic them. <laughs> Can I get some potions back? I feel like I've done this group. Ah, oh, damn. I'm gonna have to play really safe. Yeah, this is not the front gate. I guess this is just all the stuff I w Whoa! <laughs> I didn't even see you, you bastard! I guess this is all the stuff I would have had to get through going through the front gate, and I'm just coming at it all backwards. Which means I probably don't have to go there. But, you know, who knows what's there. There's probably good stuff there. Let's try to do more melee and be more aggressive. Uh, okay. Maybe not. One on one, easy peasy, but two? No. me. Oh, oh no, oh no. I don't think the one from up here has come down yet, no. But after that, we'll be back to where we were before. Okay, with much more resources. forgot about these ones. <laughs> the other one didn't notice? Hello? Are your eyes open?
Thank you for keeping it safe. So, what shot me? Oh, I see it. Will that reach? Just does. Ah! Oh. Oh, there's another one? Okay. Nope. 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 You know what? I think you're just not meant to go there. I think it's just a bad idea. Yeah. I want to see what's down here. Wait. I hear movement. Ah, they're just up there. There's also an item up there. Oh, there are stairs. I see blood stains and a fog wall. stone sword keys fireproof dried liver that must give you fire negation it sounds like it's festering in here oh I found out how to jump on things without breaking them by the way you have to sprint and jump And then you can even jump on it and off of it. But if you try to jump from here... Yeah. And I didn't Google it, by the way. I figured that out on my own. I feel very proud of that. It, I think it is possible to do it without sprinting. It's just... You need horizontal movement to get away from, like, the place where you jumped from. And it's very hard to do that without sprinting. But yeah, like... Okay, you can do it. But it's a lot easier if you're sprinting. I have enough keys. Godslayer seal. Liar ahead. <gasps> no enemy ahead. Hold on. There's a chain on the ground next to it. Is that... There isn't one on the other one, but is that even part of the chest? It's not connected to it. Eh, it's fine. Godskin prayer book. Is that like God's kin or God skin? No enemy ahead.
Ooh, this is a nice vantage point to get a bunch of these ballista wielders. Time for destruction. Yes. Ah, right ahead. Good call, there's a ladder. Is this I have no idea where I am like should I go down or over here I, I don't know yeah festering bloody fingers I was so close to death. Does no one want to give me a flask back? <laughs> I have like 10 hit points. Banished night gauntlets. Ooh. I think I have multiple pieces of new armor to check out. Do I have anything that restores health? Just literally anything. Like, no. Be wary of behind. Oh yeah, we're over. We're over the, um... The gate where I first got shot with the ballistas. one. Yo, check behind. I think they mean the other ballist, that one down there. If I go across the bridge, it's going to shoot me and I'm probably going to be dead. Unless I run. Whew. Oh, dear God. ladder. Oh, they're still trying to shoot at me. Is there anything up here at all? What's the point of this? Guess it doesn't have a point.
cookbook. Anything obvious? Jump out at me? Who are these? Rainbow stone arrows. Animal bone arrows tipped with rainbow stone shard. That sounds so pretty. Okay, make a grace mimic. I'm not sure if I could make that before. Also, script stone reveals more messages from other worlds. Takes a human bone shard. Whoa! <laughs> Where did you come from, you fucker? Where did they come from? I bet that that was the ballista wielder. All right, I'm finally back here. I died on the way, so I lost my souls, unfortunately. I tried to parry, but then I just remembered I don't have parry on this shield. Okay. Let's try not to get stabbed in the back. I don't even remember what I was doing. I was reading the description for... Oh, right. We just got a cookbook. Yeah, I was looking at the script stone. It takes a human bone shard. I've only gotten one of those in the entire game so far. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that new cookbook allows me to make. Nothing stands out to me. Okay. We could get up there. That will take me to the main yard. Where we were before. I guess that will allow me to like skip all of these enemies. So this does ultimately loop back around. But what's over here? Time for ranged battle. Hmm. Oh. Hey. I could get a backstab in on one of them, but I think I'd rather just do this. Please let me... Uh, they really did not want to let me out of the corner. It's not even a corner. How did I get stuck there? All right, let's try that again. Ah, <sighs> just gotta keep my distance. Try jumping. I do remember seeing this from that walkway in the middle. I can even see in there. Oh, I can't fit. Oh, I wanted to read that message. I've probably already been down here. Yes. Yes, I have. I've already opened this. Next pathway I want to go is I want to drop down here and take out these ballista people. You didn't hear that.
They're very focused on their ballistas. <laughs> Now this is the front gate. Do you think the person at the front that told me to go around the side, if I went back there now, do you think they'd be like, whoa, you broke through, amazing, or something? Okay, I know that there's still at least one ballista here that I've not taken out, at least. But now I see how this hooks up with the rest of the place, so I'm starting to understand how it connects together. I have no idea what is off here to the side. Oh, that leads to... Like this bridge thing. Hmm. Whoa. Oh no. Can I just get a clap for the fact that that thing is terrifying and I didn't take a single hit from it? I dodged every single hit first try. I'm really proud of myself because that thing's scary and really cool looking. Smithing stone, beast blood. Really does feel a little bit like Bloodborne. It's a crafting ingredient though, and an old fang. Fresh beast blood glinting with gold? 
Found by hunting carnivorous beasts, this glimmering blood never rots or decays. What a cool enemy. I feel like those are going to come to life and attack me. Time for ranged battle. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. <gasps> yes, there's a side of grace. That's what I wanted. This feels like... This feels like this is leading out of the castle. So I don't... Whoa, whoa. I don't know if I want to do this yet. And now with the side of grace, I can actually get back here quickly. I do want to take a quick peek up here, though. Oh, that is 100% a battlefield. Bolt Drake Talisman. This must be a dragon fight, probably. That is absolutely a boss battlefield. Let there be suffering. <laughs> I'm good. Let's look at that talisman. Boosts lightning damage negation. Limgrave Tower Bridge. Let's go back to the Rampart Tower. Let's level up my intelligence. I also have a couple items to take a look at. I know, um, I think off camera I got a weapon. The Crescent Moon Axe? Yes. Great axe with a large arcing blade and long handle. The Crescent Moon of its name is said to have been spurred by nostalgia. Specializes in sweeping through foes by making use of its long handle. Takes 25 strength. And then I think there's also some armor to take a look at. Do I have a new chest piece? No. No new chest piece. I think it was, um... Maybe Exile Gauntlets? Although I seem to have a lot of those. <laughs> like, a lot. Maybe it's the Banished Knight Gauntlets. Which seem much better. Yeah, so how does that compare? It's... Basically better at... Everything, really. Except for focus and vitality, but even that's a pretty minor difference. They're heavier, but of course I can take the weight. How do they look? That actually looks really good. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And my weight is 33.7 out of 54.5. Totally fine. I can speak with the... Smith about Roderica again. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. I think I have another prayer book to give Brother Corin. Yeah, the Godskin prayer book. That is a work of heresy. That's what you said about the last one. She's bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Do they still give you the things from the book, though? Probably. May the golden order shine through you. I don't think it's like wasting the book. I just wonder when they say that, does that imply that there's another one that, like, I don't know, likes heretical incantations that would be better to give the book to at some point? It doesn't matter either way for me, but I don't know. It seems fine. It seems like they are giving you the spells, I think. I want to test something with the Heavy Knight Rider Flail. A while ago, we got a special whetstone that allows us to give the properties heavy, keen, or quality to our Ashes of War. 
which basically make it scale well with strength for heavy, dex for keen, or... I'm not even sure what quality is. Maybe a mixture of both or something? Not quite sure. Um, yeah, but obviously I want to use the keen one because I'm a dex build. However, the thing about the Knight Rider Flail is that I want to keep the spinning chain, but I don't actually have the spinning chain Ash of War, so I can't use the... Well, yeah, I can't. Like, I can keep the spinning chain at Ash of War, but I can't apply the keen quality to it because I don't actually have the Ash of War. It's just the weapon's default state. So if I wanted Keen, the one thing that might be a replacement for Spinning Chain is Wild Strikes, which I can apply to the Flail. So I want to compare Spinning Chain to Wild Strikes. Let's see. Yeah, let's just see which one does more damage, takes more FP, etc, etc. So if I do Keen, you can see that the base damage goes down, but the bonus damage goes up to plus 57 instead of plus 38 which um, basically means in the end it does just a slightly more damage. Only slightly, but it's something. So what is this? Oh, that's very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. I did some testing of the two Ashes of War, Spinning Chain and Wild Strikes, and the results are actually very... Confusing, but interesting. Let me explain. I'll put a bunch of text on screen. I found that when using the Wild Strikes, one full bar of FP will get me 30 seconds of the special attack. I found that within those 30 seconds of a full FP bar, I got 46 attacks off. 46 hits. Which equals 1.5 attacks per second, roughly. With Spinning Chain, it took 15 seconds to go through an entire bar of FP, which means it uses FP about twice as fast as Wild Strikes. Within those 15 seconds, I got 33 attacks off, which gives me about 2.2 attacks per second. So Wild Strikes, 1.5 attacks per second. Spinning Chain, 2.2 attacks per second. At first I thought, okay, this seems pretty clear. Spinning Chain is less efficient in terms of FP use, but it gets more attacks off faster. So, less efficient, but does more damage. However, there's a little confusing thing that kind of changes everything, which is that the damage is not the same between Wild Strikes and Spinning Chain in terms of the damage you do for each hit. Wild Strikes was giving me around 140, 150, let's just say around 150 damage per hit. Whereas Spinning Chain gives me somewhere around 80, suggesting that it's doing about half damage roughly per hit. So if you consider that, I would say Wild Strikes is better. However, the question then becomes the damage seems to be halved per hit for Spinning Chain, but is the blood loss buildup halved? If it is halved, then I'm going to say Wild Strikes is simply better. But if it's not halved, then it might still be... Um, spinning Chain might be better for short-term damage? Maybe? I don't know, it's very confusing, but... My hunch is that Wild Strikes is just better. And I do like the efficiency of it, and it also just kind of looks cooler. I, I am going to miss whisking enemies. But I'm going to try Wild Strikes. I guess, I guess I could test the blood loss buildup now that I think about it. Yeah, okay, let's go test it. I tested it out in that giant on the bridge behind us, and it turns out that Spinning Chain, although it does less damage, does not seem to do less bleed. So both the Spinning Chain and the Wild Strikes took four hits to cause it to bleed. Which means, well, I don't know what that means. That means that the DPS for both is probably roughly equal. I think I'm going to stick with Spinning Chain for now just because it's whisking, you know? Whisking is my thing. I like to bake, and in Elden Ring, I like to whisk, too. Back to the courtyard. It's been cleared out. We have a big boy here.
Oh, that's a dog. I think I need you to hit the statue to break it. kill him. What do they need to do to break it? Giant required a head. Yeah, that is a giant, right? Whoa. No, don't turn on my lantern. Okay, this is not working. They look like they've been afflicted with something horrible. Some disease. Is there any way for me to break it myself? going to be one of those paintings you go inside of? I don't think I want to examine it just yet. What happened with this blood stain? Did you touch the painting and die? No, you're fighting something. Arcs are the way to go for these birds. Oh, wow. Oh my god, they can, like, shoot fire, too. So talented. Okay, I think I can just skip the giant. No, 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 giant still wants a piece of meat. Oh my god, I didn't even see that there's a doorway in there. Can you go away, please? that's a good place to end the episode. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna go get my souls back and then explore. <laughs>